In this video, we're going to look at two special cases that sequences are going to have, boundedness and monotonicity. And we're going to have this powerful theorem that's going to apply to sequences that are both bounded and monotonic. Boundedness first. We're going to say that a sequence is bounded if, well, it, it, all its terms have some bound. In particular, we'll say it's bounded above if all the terms in the sequence are going to be less than some top bound m. This is easiest to see if I graph a sample sequence. So let me imagine that I have some sequence and it's just going to be bouncing around doing a bunch of different things. Maybe at one it's here, and two it's there, and three it's there, and four it's there, and so on. The condition, however, is that I have some maximum. I have some upper bound here, and maybe I will say that that's going to occur at the height of m, and every one of my points is beneath that upper bound. Likewise, I could say that it is bounded from below if there's some other number, m, where all the points are above that m, and I might say that my sequence is bounded if it is both bounded from above and bounded from below. The notion of a sequence is increasing is very much analogous to the notion of a function increasing. That is, as I go more to the right, that is, bigger values of n, my function is bigger and bigger and bigger. I can visualize this again by plugging in some points, and they always get bigger. Maybe sometimes they're exactly equal, but the point is they never go down, and they carry on like this. That is an increasing sequence. Likewise, I can have a decreasing sequence. It's just exactly the same thing. The terms a n plus 1 the bigger term, which is an plus 1, is always less than the previous terms. And if I have either of those two cases, either increasing or decreasing, collectively those pair of properties are referred to as a sequence being monotone. So this is not a sequence that increases for a while and then decreases for a while. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to either the case where it increases forever or the case where it decreases forever. Both of those two cases are collectively referred to as monotone. And then we get this very powerful theorem, the monotone sequence theorem, that tells us that both of the properties are true. If our sequence is both bounded and monotone, then we're going to have it being convergence. In other words, we're able to translate the question of does some particular sequence converge to a test. Is it bounded and is it monotone? And if the answer to both of those questions is yes, then it must converge. And note that I'm not claiming what it converges to, we don't know that. I'm merely claiming that it must converge. So to illustrate this point, let me first assume that it's bounded. And that meant that we had some upper value here that we're going to put in as m. And maybe I'll put some other lower value down in here. And I'll call this one n, some negative value. So that was our first condition. Our first condition was that it was, that it was bounded. So it, the sequence, all the terms have to sort of live in the middle. Now I'm going to assume that it's monotonic. I have a choice of either increasing or decreasing. I'll just choose increasing. So that means I don't know where my first point is. Maybe it's here. But wherever it is, it has to keep on going, increasing, increasing, increasing forever. And look at what starts to happen. I achieve a sort of ceiling. These points are all less than m. But they keep on getting bigger. And I don't know whether they go all the way up to m, maybe not. Maybe they, maybe they sort of level off before they get to m. But the point is, they have to level off somewhere. It cannot be the case that it just keeps on increasing and it trundles off towards infinity because it's got this top cap, it's bounded. So this sequence that I have, it has to converge to some value. And in particular, it has to converge to some value less than or equal to m. It might not be m. You could imagine ones that, for example, I could loosely just sort of curve in Maybe it would flatten out, the function would look like this, and it, it converges to some lower value. But it must converge, and it must converge to a value which is less than this value m. And note that both properties are needed. If you didn't have the boundedness, you could have an increasing sequence that would say 1, 2, 3, 4. That goes on forever. If I only had bounded, then it's quite possible that my terms would sort of oscillate in between these bounds, but just because they're oscillating doesn't mean they converge. So I need to have both the monotonicity and the boundedness to ensure convergence.